rice. So, um, or no, the the rice. I like to put some salt extra than ordinary because we wash it. The way we make rice is very different than uh, everybody else or other cuisines they make rice. So we boil this water with the rice in it and a lot of salt. You can add some oil in there, not too much. And then we turn it on and we let it boil. So when it comes to the boil, we come back and we show you how it works. For now, we put the rice. I did um, two pounds of rice. We use today basmati rice, and this package is around two pounds. So we use this, and then uh, when it's boiled, I come back and I'll show you what we do here. Rice is ready now. We take it off the stove, half cooked. We have a drainer here. We emptied the extra water from it. It's ready and the extra water is going to go and so now we're coming to the best part of the rice which is the bottom of this pot and we call it tadik so it can be prepared with different setting in this case we are using yogurt saffron and one egg so that's for the bottom of the pot and when you actually and I always use a non-stick you know pot because that's makes it much easier and looks much prettier your tadik and uh so now we're preparing the setup for our tadik the one that i chose for us tonight is the yogurt tadik and we call it tachin tadik so, which is the ingredients, two spoons of yogurt, the one that we already used for our masto PR, and then I'm going to add one egg, very important part is the saffron. And I do a little bit of the rose water. Two spoon, one spoon is more than enough. The reason I like to use the um, rose water with my saffron, it makes it, it brings out the flavor of the saffron better and it's really um, not too much. You use it very softly, not a lot, because it helps you actually um, to have the flavor without really being noticeable. So when you prepare this uh, setting for your tadi, just so you know, we can do this. We can use bread for the bottom of that, or we can use potato, sliced potato, uh, which is another very tasty um, tadi, but we're doing it another night. But now we have this ready. As you can see, it has to be very smooth and nicely mixed. We put some oil at the bottom of our pot and I like to add uh, butter. As you know, I like butter. So we're going to have some of that. I'm going to turn it on. All right, we let the butter melt. The same pot that we boiled the rice is good. I'm going to use the same pot and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this a little bit of water so to make it much better easier to go in the pot okay so 
So as you can see, it's uh, ready for the second part of the job to be done. So now I'm gonna add the rice here. of rice we decided people want some leftover to take home so we make more rice than what's necessary for us so I'm gonna evenly distribute this rice the bottom with the tadic as you can see it's nicely even up and definitely you need a good oil and you make sure it's definitely as you can see it's mixed with the rice at the bottom don't forget this bottom is very very important in the rice uh, Iranian style rice so it's very very important make sure it's nicely done so now at this stage we're going to add the rest of the rice to the top. As you can see, the rice is half cooked or almost cooked. And this portion is not really for cooking the rice. It's just putting it together, making it really nice so i'm gonna have pan for this this is ready for now we're gonna add some water some oil to the top of this and uh, for the steam to get out of this rice and don't make it mushy and sticky so like my mom used to do it we like to add some holes into our rice like as you can see this way it lets the steam from the bottom to get out and not to ruin the rice now we did some oil and we do add some butter to the top makes it tasty as i said butter makes everything looks taste good so i like it So it's ready, we cover it low, not too high, be careful, and that's good, we go on the low, perfect. All right, now we're back and ready. So if you remember, I put added some saffron on the top. So I have it, I'm gonna separate it for now. And we're gonna reuse it again later for decoration. So this is the one that we added over there. Now, this rice is going into the plate. We're gonna do this for the bottom that we were all waiting for. So every time I do this, I pray that it turn out to be a nice one because you never know. Sometimes you may take it. Mm, Yay! Mm -hmm. It's perfect. All right. So now we're going to add some of this saffron for the top. And some of it here for this one. Just to make it look pretty.
So voila, our rice is ready. Thank you.